So let's consider a partial differential equation that depends on a polynomial function of the time derivative and of dx1, dx2, dx3 multiplied by a function u of x and t equal to 0. This is our partial differential equation. So, uh, and let's suppose that we look for plain weight solutions. Uh, let's say u is equal to a multiplied by e i kx minus omega t, where a is the amplitude, k is the wave number, omega is the frequency, and let's say k multiplied by x is k1 multiplied by x1 plus um, k2, x2, k3, x3. So, if you can see that if we applied a uh, a partial derivative, for example, the time partial derivative to our solution, you if we apply d dt to our um, plane wave solution, you always will have a additional coefficient minus minus i omega and when you apply the other partial derivatives let's say d dx1 d dx2 d dx3 for each of them you will have a different coefficient I, I k1, I k2, I k3. So, so if, uh, because of this, you will have you you can say that you will have a dispersion relationship between um, a polynomial that depends on minus i omega i k1, i k2, and i k3 equal to zero. There will be a dispersion relationship between this polynomial of minus i omega, i k1, i k2, i k3, and the first of our partial di di um, differential equation that it depends on derivatives and you, Katie.